the people. Everywhere we have gone, we've been met by the most friendly people, encouraging, and we're just, we hate to leave. It has been just a real joy for all of us uh, to be here, and we thank God for it. You know, the world has changed in just the last few years. You think of the pandemic. We've never had in history where the entire world has been locked down. It just hasn't happened. Uh, normally, if a person is sick, you quarantine sick people. This is the first time that healthy populations have been quarantined, and, and this happened around the world. And I'm not sure that the world will ever go back to the way it was. Things have changed. But I can tell you right now, God hasn't changed. God, God's laws are the same, His standards are the same, His love for you has not changed. Hello and welcome, my name is Jeremy and that was a little video clip there from Franklin Graham on the current uh, God Loves You tour that's coming to New Zealand in November, just a, um, a few weeks away now, but look, we all know that the world has changed, this pandemic has changed us and we don't know if anything is going to be ever the same again, but one of the things that um, the pandemic has done is it's brought a lot of uh, spiritually orientated people together and a lot of people, whether they know it or not, um, have brought them together. We've had um, rallies, uh, people getting together uh, in opposition of what's happening to the um, with the world order here. And it's interesting because today's devotional is all about um, how we need connectedness and how it's good to get together with um, these people that help us along in life. But look, I will share the screen and I'll show you a little bit about um, what they're saying today in today's devotional. Here we go, we need connectedness. And it goes on to say, at creation, God looked at all he had made and said, that's good. Then there came a time when he realized that man was lonely, unfulfilled and incomplete. He said, it's not good for the man to be alone. So he made Eve for the first time, the first woman. None of us can develop to our highest potential unless we are plugged into a nurturing, life-giving relationships. Here's an example in the 12 step recovery programs. Um, the counselor goes only does 10% of the work by offering guidance, where 90% of the recovery process takes place because the people in the group challenge, comfort and strengthen one another. And that is what has been great about getting together in places like churches, uh, little meetings and people that um, get together as well in their Bible study groups and um, going to things like the rallies as well where people have made more friends and gotten to know uh, people that from all sorts of walks of life with all sorts of experience with decades and decades of experience in all sorts of different areas but look the best part of this um, um, today's devotional says we're shaped by people the right people help you to become the best version of yourself and you do the same for them as well they see a you you can't see at times and that is a positive great thing they cheer you on um, as you move forward and they get in your face when you falter in other words they can let you know what you've what you may have done wrong and then help you along as well the highest form of this relationship is referred to in scripture as the fellowship of the spirit it's not just a social, relational, relational or intellectual connect, connect, connection, but a deep spiritual link that causes us to thrive. A deep spiritual link that causes us to thrive when we come together with the fellowship of the Spirit. It's like the difference between bees and butterflies. Butterflies cover more territory, but bees gather more honey. Why? Because they don't just land a flower briefly, they stay there and extract the life-giving nectar. I like that how it says, Fellowship of the Spirit, a deep spiritual link that causes us to thrive and then, then they stay there and extract the life-giving nectar. Uh, in Bible times, God gave D David the gift of Jonathan and Naomi the gift of Ruth and he has people he would like you to meet as well, so talk to him about it today. There you go, that is the devotional for the day, We, or the word for the day, we need connectedness that is part one and another couple of parts coming in the next couple of days so thank you for watching have a great day and bless you we're all guilty of coming short of god's holy requirements and we're all sinners and we're all in need of the grace and mercy of god
This is Franklin Graham. The world has changed. The pandemic has changed all of our lives. I'm not sure if we'll ever be the same, but the need for the gospel hasn't changed. And I'm looking forward to coming to New Zealand to preach and to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is the God Loves You Tour. We're coming to preach the gospel, the good news that God loves sinners, the good news that Christ died for our sins, that get involved, uh, become a volunteer, uh, look how you can be involved in the bus ministry, bringing friends to this event. We'll be going through the south, all the way to the north, and we're coming to preach the good news. So get involved and begin to pray. Pray for your country, pray for the lost, pray for your community, and that the power of the gospel would transform the hearts and lives of many in New Zealand this coming year. God bless you. Looking forward to being with you.